Becky, thank you very much. Uh, well, with me now is Bernie Savage from the National Union of Students, who is Vice President for Further Education. Also joining me is Ethan Luca Barrow, who's a student at WIC at Sixth Form College in Hull. Welcome to you both, and thanks very much for being with us here on uh, Sky News. Ethan, I'd like to start with you. Now, I understand you needed AAB to get your place uh, to study medicine at Brighton and Sussex uh, Medical School. I'm delighted to say you got those grades, so a huge congratulations. Well done to you. I'm sure you're feeling absolutely uh, delighted. How, how worried were you before you opened that, uh, that envelope about the announced grade suppression? How expected were your results this year? Oh, it was so stressful. Um, I barely slept last night trying to go through all the possible and um, what was going to happen, how I was going to plan for it. And it's just, you know, because I really, really was hoping to get into medical school. And um, I was so glad I did. And I'm really glad I got there. Um, but it is, it's been a very, very stressful few days on yeah. the lead up to results day. Yeah, I can imagine. And, and of course, you're, I mean, you're a top student. You've got an AAB. Uh, how difficult did the exams feel this year? I know you can't compare because you haven't sat previous year's exams, but did you get a sense of, of, compared to your preparation, how hard the exams felt? Yeah, definitely. I mean, especially with me not doing my GCSEs, um, we're doing no formal formal um, exams before. It's definitely a big step moving forward to um, to doing external exams. We're not used to them all. My GCSEs were, were all internal. So it's definitely, the first one was such a big step to get to. Um, I did do a lot of the past papers, but I think they kept it quite similar to a lot of the other exams. But I think the difference lies with me not sitting my GCSEs and not being used to uh, external exams. I know that your college also does T-level programmes. Uh, it, it takes some of your students, go. the students at your uh, college also go on to do apprenticeships at places like Bank of America, Jaguar Land Rover. Is that something that your friends have been talking about or do you feel there's still this obsession with getting into university? Um, I think there's definitely a lot more focus on BTECs now, and that's really important because it's not A levels might not be the right, and maybe uni as well might not be the right choice for everyone. Um, we celebrated lots of T level students getting into nursing and other courses like that, and I think it's really important as well. You know, some can use T levels to go to to study degrees, but apprenticeships are also an amazing opportunity as well. I think using that as well, and just knowing that um, uni is not the only option. Um, there, and I know our careers team. Yeah, and I wonder, because it, it is different in, in other countries where, I guess, apprenticeships are lauded much more, they're celebrated much more. We're trying to do that in the UK. It's, it's a, it feels like a slow start. You're at a sixth form college right now. For those friends who are deciding that they don't want to go to university, they want to do something else, is there an intellectual snobbery going on or is it celebrated in the way that I think the government would like to see? No, I think it's definitely celebrated. I think that's definitely, you know, pushed by our careers team. And it, there's just seen no different to getting an apprenticeship um, as compared to going to university. All right. Well, listen, it's really great to get your thoughts, both, both from Bernie Savage there, Vice President of the National uh, Union of Students, Further Education Vice President, and from Ethan Luca Barrow, to whom we wish, again, many congratulations on uh, your success in uh, your A-levels and your place at Brighton and Sussex Medical School. Well done to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.